Hello, my favorite little stinky winkies. It's me, your boy. Now recently, my good pal Elvis the Alien posted a video of him beating Bloodborne without dying. Me and Elvis have known each other since we were both around the 100 subscriber mark, and throughout time, I've always believed that I was the better gamer. So after he posted something like this, I couldn't let it stand. I couldn't let it just sit there and mock me. So I took it upon myself to make it a challenge where he took his favorite game and did a no death run. I will do the same. And my favorite game being of course, Doom Eternal. time ago, when Doom Eternal was first released, I was playing it a bunch, and honestly, I tried Ultra Nightmare multiple times. Honestly, I credit Ultra Nightmare runs to the reason why I stopped playing the game for a long time. Because pain can't really begin to describe uh, the feeling I felt dying countless times in Ultra Nightmare. But after seeing my good pal finish his game, I decided to pick this game back up and finish the damn job. The job that I started so many years ago. And I'm going to bring you along with me on this journey. And for those people out there who also would like to beat Doom Eternal on Ultra Nightmare, you could use this as a guide because I'm going to be going through my entire playthrough, telling you what went wrong, what went right, and what could be done better. And most importantly, showing my godly gaming prowess. And for those people wondering, yes, this includes Slayer Gates. Now there are those people out there that could just kind of pick up Doom Eternal and just boom, beat Ultra Nightmare, well, not even breaking a sweat. But there's also people like me who have to write down an entire novel of little cheat sheets, little, little, little tips and tricks to remind me of what part of each map I need to worry about. Yes, I literally wrote down how many and what type of demons spawn in each area and each arena. It, what am I doing with my life? But this should be a sign to you that if I can do it, so can you. If it really takes you having to do crap like this, just do it, all right? No one's gonna judge you. And I just wanna mention a few things before we go into this. I'm going to cut out as much footage as possible to make sure this isn't a five hour long video because it is the entire game. So all like the parkour and just the boring parts that pretty much anyone can get through. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm not gonna be showing those parts. Really don't know anyone who would care to watch the parkour parts of Doom Eternal. I mean, who cares? So a few tips before you start this. Number one, change your key bindings. Now, if you wanna be an, an epic gamer and quick switch and look like you know how to play the game, even though you don't really, you're not really that good, change your key bindings. Don't use one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight to try to switch through your weapons. I'm not lying. I actually did that uh, when I played the game on Nightmare originally. And boy, was it hard. It was so stupidly hard to not fat finger the wrong button consistently. There are plenty of videos on the internet of like which keybinds to do what, but honestly, just find what's comfortable for you. I'll put my key bindings uh, on the screen and also down in the description if you wanna try mine out. Another smart tip to use is you can save after every single level that you beat in Ultra Nightmare. So what I do is I beat the level that I'm going to be doing on Ultra Nightmare on Nightmare first, before I go into that level to just have like a warm up and a refresher of what everything's gonna be. I don't really have a long spans of time for me to just do Ultra Nightmare in one run. So I normally did a level, took a break, warmed up, did another level and kind of went through it that way. But those are just a couple tips before we begin. So let's start. Against all the evil that hell can conjure, all the wickedness that mankind can produce, we will send unto them only you. Rip and tear until it is done. All right, so this first room here, pretty tough. Uh, he's got three little demons. You just gotta take, you just gotta take. Oh, oh, let me just get some health over here. Man, this game sucks. Man, this game, dude, this game sucks. All right, so let's try this again. If you shoot the guys in the in the bot, it, like point at them, they die. Anyway, 
And obviously the first mod of the game is gonna be sticky bombs because you're gonna be using those the majority of the first few levels. I was gonna kind of rush past this first arena. Yes, you definitely can die on this first arena because I have. All right, the next area we got has the Arachnatron. Basically what you wanna do is go over there, miss the first shot, switch your mods twice, and then you hit the shot, pop his little gun cherry on top of his head, and then you kill him with the full auto shotgun. Yeah, I know there's elitists out there who think full auto sucks, but full auto's great early on in the game if you use it right. Then we go to the next area, you kind of just pop little stick grenades on all these little boys, and then you're gonna go over here to this corner, pop the little gun cherry off that arachnatron, get a little bit of ammo, switch to your full auto, and then laser them down pretty quickly, easy peasy. Also a little tidbit of information, try to have three chainsaw ammo before you get into the last arena because that's very important to make sure that you don't die early on. This next part's pretty self-explanatory, pretty easy. Cockademon pops up, you throw a ball in his mouth, he swallows it whole, and he swallows it. Oh. Then he kind of just run around for a while killing these stupid demons that are spread out really annoyingly. And then whenever you kill all of them, then the Arachnatron's gonna spawn, nade, sticky bombs, shoot him with the guns, uh, kill him. That's pretty much it. And then we get to the last arena. Yes, I'm skipping to the last arena because everything else is kind of boring and stupid. And we're gonna have two Kaka demons that are gonna spawn. Pop this one, sticky bomb those little fodder demons right there. Pop his eyeball off, and what you're gonna do is you're gonna throw the nade on the next one. You're gonna jump, fuck up your jump completely, panic a lot, run around, not sure what to do. Hopefully he comes down there. Oh my God, I'm about to die. Spam your sticky bombs, hoping that you don't die. Thank God, that was all part of the plan. Kill the Arachnatron with the chainsaw, and then you kind of just throw sticky bombs everywhere. Throw your grenade, you know, just, just basically just kill all the fodder demons. Wait for this cock to come over here. Throw, yeah, yeah, you know the drill. And that arena is done. Easy peasy. And I'll go ahead and show the last part of the level because you can honestly die here if you don't take out the fodder demons quick. But normally you can just throw a grenade right there because they're normally all collectively put right there. And then what you're gonna do, is pop off the little gun cherry like you normally do. Uh, I, I was panicking, so I got some more ammo. And then do what I do and just runs directly into the bombs. See how he's shooting them directly at me and I ran right into them? Very smart play. I recommend everyone do that. It, it works every single time. Now the next level is Exultia. Uh, it has a few tough parts, I'm not gonna lie. But the beginning part is you're introduced to the demons that throw up green goop and then a Kaka demon's gonna spawn Pretty easy beginning part, just, just get rid of them all quick. And then you're gonna get introduced to a Hell Knight, which all you have to do, doors open, you're gonna toss a little grenade, switch to full auto shotgun, and he'll just disappear really quickly. And then we get to our first rune, and my personal favorite rune you're gonna, I mean, you don't have to do this, but I always get, uh, I always get air control just because I end up jumping a lot. So, you know, being able to strafe in midair is always great. And what you're gonna do in the next area is drop straight down to the door. There's gonna be a hell knight there and you just do what you always do. You drop a grenade and then you switch to your full auto and just melt him really quickly. And then on this next part, you're gonna forget that you're switched to full auto mode and then you're gonna start panicking and forget what button you put as the button to switch mods and awkwardly switch over and then nail it completely. Now this is the first arena of the area. I normally throw a grenade in the middle, kill all the fodder demon, and then a cocky demon's gonna spawn here on this platform, and then another one's gonna spawn here on this platform. You kill them both, and then jump over to the next platform, and then a arc, arc, arch, arc, D, arc, fuck it, uh, what's their names? Wait for the Arachnatron to spawn, pop his gun cherry, and then, you know, just throw a bunch of sticker grenades at him. Keep your distance. Stay away from the, from the bombs he's throwing at you. And that's pretty much it. Now the next part, we're gonna have our dash, so it's gonna be a lot easier to play the game. I normally nade the Hell Knight and just sticky bomb the crap out of him. I would full auto, but he just moves a bunch and it just makes it awkward, so sticky bombing him is easier. And you're gonna kill the Kaka Demon, and then another Hell Knight's gonna spawn out of the door, and you just, you know, Spam him with sticky bombs. You could full auto, but I feel like when he's not 
right in front of you, it's kind of hard to land all of the shots. Because full auto just wastes a buttload of ammo, so you have to make sure that you're going to be hitting your shots if you're going to use full auto. And then we have our first secret encounter, which little secret tip, I just figured this out after this run, you could actually jump off the map towards the cockademons and you'll spawn behind them and then get two easy kills because they'll be closer. Or you could be dumb like me, almost die at five health and luckily somehow make it out alive. Again, very good at the game. And the next part's where you get the energy gun and then you get exposed to a revenant. He exposes his goods to you. And right when he drops down, just hit that little bomb, kills him pretty quickly. And then a Hell Knight's gonna jump up here. Just do what you always do. You can throw sticky bombs, use the energy weapon, whatever. He'll he'll die quick. And then you're gonna have a Cockademon come around the corner and always miss your first shot on the Cockademon and then land your second shot. It's just like a signature move that I always have. I feel like it works. This next part could be the hardest arena if you don't do it correctly. Now, first of all, cheese the crap out of the Arachnatron and the Revenant. You could just kill him right before you drop down. It'll save you a lot of time. And it honestly doesn't matter if you waste ammo because if you were smart and saved all three of your chainsaw fuels, you could jump right down and you're gonna land on top of a Hell Knight. You could flame belch him or whatever and just chainsaw him in half. Easy ammo. And it's gonna sticky bomb the Cockademon. And all that's left is just two Arachnatrons, which you could stand over in this corner and just kill him pretty quickly that way. Now this part I remember used to freak me out, but just pop the gun cherry. I really need to stop saying gun cherry. It's making me feel uncomfortable, but that's all part of the fun. And just wait for him to jump down and energy blast him. Heat blast his face with your gun. And now we have the first Slayer Gate, which honestly is annoying as hell because guess what they do? They throw every fucking little character at you at the same, it's just spam. Literally just spam of little fodder demons. God, I hate it so much. So what I do at least is I kind of just run around the map, run around in a circle and just spam sticky bombs because the AOE will at least stagger them and do some damage to them. And you could hopefully kill multiple at once when you hit them right. And while you're doing all this, go pick up the chainsaw ammo because you're gonna be needing it for the Dread Knight that's gonna pop up. There's gonna be two Revenants that's gonna appear and a Dread Knight, so you can just get rid of the Dread Knight. Boom, bam, easy peasy, panic, run around, spam sticky grenades. I don't know what I'm doing. What weapon am I gonna pick? I don't know. I'm just clicking buttons. Are we winning? Okay, I got it. I'm, I'm in control. I'm not panicked anymore. But then two more Revenants appear and another Dread Knight appear, which the Dread Knight, all you really gotta do is just keep at a distance. Don't let him get too close because if he does, he does that and you know, you almost die. It was really annoying right here because both Revenants and the Dread Knight were just hanging out in the exact same spot and wouldn't really move, so I had to go around and take a break for a second until they spread out a little bit because that just makes it so much easier because when they're together, it's just not fun. And then we get to the last area of this level, which I think is pretty easy, mainly because you get a free onslaught and that just does four times damage. So I normally skip the onslaught and get rid of this Arachnatron with the, you know, chainsaw that everyone should be using. Use it, use it, stop being stupid. Damn girl, what you got cooking down there? So I go after the Hell Knight Cheeks really fast and then I kill the Revenant and they all kind of just funnel in this one platform so it's easy to kill them all. And then I almost forgot about the Cockademon because I'm an idiot. I miss the Cockademon. I'm in the lava. I'm panicking. I'm pan I'm switching guns. I don't know who I'm shooting at. I'm running around. Oh yeah, there's that Arachnatron. Oh, I missed the precision shot. Oh, he's getting closer. Oh God. Okay, yeah, I'm good. I'm good. Yep. 
All right, we're, uh, I'm back in control. I'm I'm missing shots, missing shots. I I don't know where I am. Okay, we're fine. We're fine. Oh yeah, uh, all part of the plan. That was oh man, clean, clean, clean run right there, ladies and gentlemen. And then cultist base, everyone's favorite. Totally not unfair and annoying and painful. You're gonna start out with two revenants. Uh, by now, you should figure you should be able to figure out how to kill them. You don't really have to break off their weak points, but it does help. You know, like if your aim's not as impeccable as mine, like I get it. You can't knock off their weak points their their cherries whatever and what weapon mastery i'm going for is a precision bolt one actually on exultia you should have enough uh, arsenal points or whatever the hell they're called to to max out your precision bolt or any gun that you want which i would highly recommend because then you could work on a mastery of that weapon which is very important if you want to be a, a big strong boy for this run yeah as you can see right here i'm popping heads i'm pretty much popping heads on every one that will allow me to and then we're gonna have a hell knight spawn by now a hell knight should just be a little bitch in your eyes that you should annihilate instantly and this tunnel area right here used to be the bane of my existence until i figured out hmm maybe i should be smart with my gameplay and actually use the environment to my advantage who would have ever thought of doing something like that but anyway there's one mancubus that spawns you wait for him to walk up you shoot the thing and then two mancubus spawn you wait for them to walk into the thing shoot the thing everybody's dead this area is actually very easy but for some reason i'm stupid and uh, uh never tried that now this next area is pretty simple just kill these two guys wait for the arachnatron to appear pop his little cherry boy i need to stop saying pop cherry it, it it's starting to make me feel uncomfortable, and I'm I'm the one who's saying it. In the next area, again, use the environment to your advantage. Uh, I go ahead and just knock off the two cherries on top of the uh, revenant. I, I I bait the hell knight into hell of death, and then I shoot the bomb above the revenant's head and kill him. And uh, pretty much the rest is history. And I would say the first really tough part of this is the three Mancubus area where you get your rocket launcher. Now, let me say something. The reason you get a rocket launcher here is so you can use it. I wasn't aware of that until I started using the said rocket launcher. I normally freeze the Mancubus on the left, uh, pop. I normally would pop his cherries, but I missed. And then I try to get the one over there, miss his cherries as well. And now I'm in an awkward spot because normally he should be dead by now. So I'm kind of scrambling, waiting for the cockademon. I end up using the glory kill as a way of not dying. Run away, I'm scared. I'm out of ammo now. Why am I aiming with that? Oh yeah, rocket launcher. I should probably use that because the game did give me that for this level. So it's probably a good idea to use. And also this map gives you plenty of rocket launcher ammo, which is nice when you know, you're in a, a pinch and you don't want to use your chainsaw, but you end up giving in anyway to use your chainsaw because you wanted to save it for something else, but it's fine. And then the next part is whiplashes. I hate those. They suck. But toss a grenade and a rocket launcher shot over there and get rid of the first one because he's going to peek around the corner. Rush over to this side and just get rid of them as fast as you can. Because, oh my god, that fucking soldier stepped right in front of my rocket launching shot. I have five health. This isn't fair. Why is it like this? See what I mean when I said I hate these soldiers? I hate Soldier Boy. So, this soldiers uh, these guys and the next mod is the most important mod in the entire run the lock-on burst or at least for me i abuse the shit out of this thing because lock-on burst i'm pretty sure could one shot most of the elite demons in this game and then we get to our next troublesome arena we start out with the mancubus uh, I get him into a glory kill stage and then he lives so i have to waste more ammo to kill him which is not good but after you kill him, just like every time I've done it, miss your first shot on the cocky demon and then hit the second one, run away, and this is where shit gets real. Go over to the right side, lock onto that revenant, kill him, and then the hell knight is gonna spawn below him, kill him with the lock on burst, two down, and now I'm panicking because my rocket launcher ammo is gone, and this arachnatron, I've missed both of my precision bolt shots on his cherry. I'm freaking out, but we're fine. I'm gonna freeze everybody get armor and, and health and then uh, um, this is not looking good for me but just like i said before don't do what i'm doing move because i stayed in the same spot and every demon just went to that spot and that left me in a very bad position 
But that's why I always say actually run around the arena. I don't even take my own advice. I feel like I've actually gotten way better now after my Ultra Nightmare run. But then we have that Mancubus to deal with and all you really have to do is just keep your distance and spam the, the precision bolt with the rocket launcher and he'll get done pretty Later, quick. Bitch. Clean. Just like every single arena, clean. Now, a quick way to get past these skulls out of here is you just click the... You just click the... Yeah. Uh-huh. Okay. What I was trying to do there is if you actually just go into the animation of pushing the skull in, those little skulls will just uh, try to attack you and you won't take damage because you're in the middle of an animation. However, every time I tried to do it, he ended up just punching one of them. He like auto-locked onto one of them instead. I don't know why this happened. I'm still frustrated about this, but moving on. I feel like the main reason I was so upset is the next part of this level is the hardest part in the entire game. Because it throws you into a very, very small area with environmental damage as well. E and on each side, there are going to be demons that are dropping down, so you can kind of tell where they're coming from at least. But the first part's pretty easy, just fodder demons. Easy peasy, no problem at all. But then the big boys are coming in. So what you're gonna do is quickly lock onto that whiplash because fuck that thing, I hate it. Shoot the, the, the explodey guy and then finish this Arachnotron. But the next part is the pain in the ass part. See, what should have happened is I should have locked onto this Mancubus. He should have died. I should have shot him over and he should have died. But this one didn't die and oh yeah, the other one didn't die. So I started panicking a little bit. My, I, I am literally just going through weapon cycles not knowing what's happening. But I do end up making it just fine and I am in pristine condition. And this next part is a good example of how shield guys uh, piss me off. Because you do the secret encounter, I go ahead and, you know, kill off the revenant, easy peasy. And what's that? What's that? Oh, I am now down to 15 health because of a stupid shield guy that did a billion damage. Now this next part I'm just gonna speed through because uh, it's basically just knowing what's behind the next door and knowing how to deal with it. Uh, it's not really too hard necessarily. Uh, again, it's just if you know where they're at and you know what they're doing, then yeah, then you're fine. And here comes the most annoying secret encounter. A good tip is boop over that little bomb because two whiplashes are gonna appear. You just blow up those bombs and it does a lot of damage to them so you can kind of quickly kill them. And I highly recommend freezing that Mancubus just to give you a second to breathe before you actually attack him because he is annoying as hell. But yeah, that's pretty much that one. This next part is another pretty easy one. Uh, you pop the Explody guy, kill the Revenant, uh, get rid of the Mancubus's arm cherries, blow them up. And I think there's gonna be a Kaka demon that's gonna appear in the distance, which I just wanna mention, always remember that because uh, it's easy to forget because he's so far away. Now moving on to the Slayer Gate, which I mean, I guess this is the debatable, but this is definitely one of the most annoying Slayer Gates I, I have seen in this game. But if you're smart and you at least have two chainsaw charges, you could jump on the pillar and then jump on this Mancubus and get a free kill on him. And then there's two other Mancubus that are gonna uh, spawn and uh, yeah, just keep your distance. Uh, make sure to get rid of them quick, because if you don't, it's gonna be annoying to deal with. But I was waiting for this Mancubus to spawn. He finally did. I just lock on bursted him and killed him pretty easy. Now two Kaka demons are gonna appear here and I would just get rid of him as fast as possible because Kaka demons can one-shot you. I mean, to be fair, everything can in this game. But there's also gonna be prowlers running around during this, which I normally just ignore them until like they appear in front of me and then I meat hook them. But most of the time they're kind of just like gnats. They just are annoying more than anything. And then I believe three arachnotrons are gonna appear here and just keep your distance. Try to keep them separated because when they get together, they're a pretty big nuisance. Now, if they do get together, I would just throw your freeze grenade at them. But like me, you could miss as well, uh, you know, because of how good I am at games. But eventually, with a little bit of skill and a lot of luck, you'll get through the Slayer Gate, I promise.
And then we have the last level of cultist base, which is where I normally panic the most because my runs normally consist of dying on cultist base or getting past cultist base. I mean, I'm pretty certain I only died a handful of times after I pass cultist base because I can do just fine when it's after cultist base, but everything that and before that, fuck that, I hate it. Right away, there's gonna be two revenants that you're going to see. Uh, you could just lock on to kill them. Uh, I lost track of the other revenant, which led me to panic for some reason. Instead of just killing these fodder demons, I was just, I don't know what I was doing. I was just bouncing around waiting for the Revenant to appear before me. But after you eventually find that Revenant and kill him, you're gonna run over to the secret door of hell and get this little buff item that makes you uh, super fast, what is it called, overdrive or some crap, and kill this hell knight and miss every single one of your super shotgun shots to the point that you're just gonna say, fuck it, I'm just gonna blood punch this guy. You can tell my panic is here because I am missing many shots and this, this is this makes it worse because I, I just panic even more because I'm missing. But then the whiplash is gonna spawn. I normally always just freeze this whiplash and get rid of it because oh lord, I hate those things. I can't express that enough. And after you get rid of all that, you're gonna have a mancubus that's gonna appear and I think there's another arachnotron right here. And then Doom Hunter base, which I'm pretty much only gonna be showing two fights because the rest is just boring. Honestly, Doom Hunter base is like 90% parkour and 10% uh, actual fights. Actually, the only arena fight you're gonna have that's difficult on this entire level is right at the beginning. They kind of throw a lot at you at once. But first thing you're gonna do is fly up there, freeze that pinky and because pinkies are annoying and then kill him in the butt. And after you kill the pinky, there's gonna be a revenant that's gonna spawn that you can just get rid of really quick because he spawns in the exact same location. And then there's gonna be another pinky. And what I recommend with pinkies is rocket launch them to the face instead of, you know, you're not gonna have freeze all the time, but a rocket launcher or a grenade will stun them for a second to give you a chance to kill them. Then there's gonna be a revenant in the center. And I feel like a lot of the demons are gonna be in the center. So if you kind of run around in the circle, a lot of them just appear in the center. But like throughout the entire video, use your damn chainsaw because you can get rid of this pinky like I did here and then, you know, get rid of the Arachnotron's cherry, throw some shit at it, and he'll die. And like I said, keep moving because I put myself on this platform and just stayed here and everybody just came. And I, I for some reason, just thought, you know what, fuck it. Let's stay here and just see if it works out. But as you can see, I got quite low and honestly, I think if I hit that rocket launcher shot on that Hell Knight, I probably would have died. So then you're gonna have a whiplash and a mancubus and get rid of that whiplash fast. I mean, again, they all kind of just funnel to the center area if you just keep on each side and it's pretty easy to just mow all of them down with some AOE shit. But yeah, that's pretty much the entire level. Let's go ahead and skip to the boss fight. But normally right off the bat, I throw a freeze nade because he's gonna melee you a lot of times and that does a shitload of damage. So the few things you need to look out for in this is just the lock-on missiles and his melee. Everything else is kind of weak. So anytime it says missiles incoming, just dash and you'll be fine. And all you gotta do is keep your distance. And every single time you break down a shield, just use the lock-on burst from your rocket launcher and it'll just do a buttload of damage. <laughs> and 
And after you get the Doom Hunter off his sled, there are gonna be Prowlers that are gonna spawn, but I normally ignore him because if you just kill him fast enough, it doesn't really matter. Because once he's dead, all of the demons just despawn. So there are a few carcasses as well, which can get annoying. But again, I, I normally just ignore everybody and just try to rush him down really quick. And now the next part, you get two Doom Hunters. Uh, I'm just going to heat blast the air for no fucking reason, but it's pretty much the same tips as the first one. Keep your distance, always dash whenever you see the missiles lock on and don't be close enough to get meleeed. Which I was pretty close a, a few times. And always try to keep them separated because when they're together, it can get pretty annoying. And also try to focus on one at a time. Don't like do a little bit of damage on each. Just focus on that one, get rid of them, and then focus on the next one. And there are some carcasses and prowlers that can be annoying in this, but really just as long as you keep moving, they're not really gonna be a problem. And now it's time to go to the Super Gordon Nest, probably one of my favorite maps, if not my favorite map uh, in this game, just because all of the arenas are very open and, and fun. This is where the game actually gets really fun and where I don't necessarily have to worry as much. And also you get your Ballista, which the Ballista is probably one of the best weapons in the game, if not the best. So at the beginning, you're gonna have three Mancubus, or should I say Mancubi, that are uh, spread out. Uh, on the map and uh, you get you could pretty much just mow them down one at a time because they're so far from each other not really too difficult you know the same old shit keep your distance don't get too close to them you know pop off their little arm cherries and then mow them down But after you kill them, you're gonna get some revenants, some hell knights, uh, some prowlers. Uh, I don't know why I, I start uh, uh, panicking here because none of my guns have ammo. Instead of uh, chainsawing the guy, I just punch him in the face. And I'm clearly an idiot because as you can see, throughout me panicking, trying to find a small fodder demon to get ammo from, I had full chainsaw ammo. So I could have chainsawed any elite I wanted to, but I'm stupid. So, you know, there's that. And throughout the rest of the game, you're gonna be seeing me use the Arbalist for all of the Kaka demons, just to, you know, boost that mastery shit. There's a few whiplashes here, and whiplashes aren't bad in this area because the map is so expansive. You don't have to worry too much. Just keep your distance, use the lock-on rocket launcher, and boom, bam. We get introduced to the Dread Knight, which basically all he's good for is jumping and landing and have a bunch of AOE juice everywhere. But all you gotta do is just make him look like a little bitch. That's, that's all you gotta do. So, but you're gonna have an Arachnotron down at the bottom and be careful because there are a bunch of explosive barrels. But what I like to do is bait the Dread Knight down there and uh, explode all the barrels when he gets down there to do you know a lot of damage and get rid of him pretty quick. And then comes the dreaded buff totem area where a lot of people have trouble with. And this was just unfortunate circumstance after unfortunate circumstance. So after you clear out all the buffed fodders, there's gonna be four little uh, tentacle things that pull up and you gotta go in the green stuff. And I don't remember which one was the buff totem. So I constantly went to the wrong one and it just wasn't working. The way to get rid of a lot of the demons fast is go into the predator token room and get into the animation of the predator token. Or it could be like me and punch it a billion times because it wouldn't load and it wouldn't get into the animation. But while you're in that animation, all those buff demons are gonna be rushing into that room and all you do is turn around ice bomb all of them and then throw a couple nades and it will clear most of them out. And then we have this secret encounter, which is uh, just two Mancubus. Uh, you could freeze bomb the first one just to get rid of him fast. Do the Ballista hand cannon combo and get rid of his arm cherries and pop them off real good. Mwah. And then we get another huge arena, one of my favorite arenas in the game. They're gonna have a little manky but on the left, and you shoot off his arms and legs, and you pop popping cherries left and right. That's all I. That's that's what I be doing every day is popping cherries left and right. I don't. Don't take that out of context. I, I think there's two Arachnotrons and two Mancubus uh, that you can get rid of pretty quickly if you just hang out on this ledge, uh, because they're normally pretty far away.
And then I just get the onslaught and just go to town on, on the rest of the elite demons that are here. I'm gonna leave this room in because uh, it, it is kind of awkward because you have a mancubus on the left and then there's gonna be a, a invisible a pinky that's gonna come up behind you. Pretty much all you have to do is shoot the mancubus whenever you hear the pinky come and just dodge to the left, freeze bomb him and kill him pretty easily. Now, this is the part where a mancubus jumps up and two carcasses uh, throw a shield. So make sure you jump and dash forward before he jumps up just so you don't get stuck by the shield and then take a buttload of damage. And then we get this secret encounter where he's gonna get faced with a mancubus in the face, just, you know, ballista, hand cannon, his arms, and then just rocket launch all the little fodder demons. I don't know how I got stuck up there. And then you have this little dumbass carcass, stupid ass, what it, why is he up there? Why was he up there? Like what, who does, he never does that. Now this next part again is a carcasses. Wait for this mouth gaping hole to open and get rid of this bitch before he ruins your entire life. There's one on the other side as well. Because if they fuck you up, that Dread Knight's just gonna make your life hell. Oh yeah, you got your chain gun now. I forgot to mention that. Now with the chain gun, get the energy shield because holy crap, you could save your life so many times with that shield. Now we got another buff totem section. All you have to do is a meat hook, uh, 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 what do you call it? Slingshot, I guess. You just lock, you hook, you go around and like, like, slingshot your way around the corner, whatever, just whatever I did here. And just poof up here and then get the totem and then, you know, just, just kill the rest of the people. It's pretty easy after that. That's where you get the Slayer Gate key and then there's gonna be an Arachnatron that's gonna walk its moseyest little butt out and then just make sure, embarrass him. Embarrass him, make sure he does not walk out of that hole alive. And there's gonna be another one that's gonna hop up here, a pretty easy kill. I think it's just three Arachnatrons here. Uh, it's pretty, Pretty simple on this part. It's just a few demons. And now it's time for uh, this Slayer Gate, which I think this Slayer Gate's kind of fun. Uh, I don't really have too much trouble with it just because there's you have so much in your arsenal now. It's like you don't have to worry too much. But get rid of the damn carcasses. Make sure you nade all the fodder demon to get rid of them because they can be an issue over time. Because the beginning part literally is just fodder demon and, and carcasses, which again, are annoying. It, that's all it is, really. But after you wipe all those guys out, it's gonna be a Dread Knight that spawns. And after that Dread Knight disappears, you're gonna have three Hell Knights and two Pinkies. And the Pinkies pretty much just uh, stay off of the level that they're on. That's all you really have to do. Like if they're on the lower level, just, you know, spam them from above. You know, you don't necessarily have to hit their weak spot. If you just spam nades or rocket launchers or something at them, they'll die eventually. And then here's a good example of me surviving with my chain gun. I got pretty low and got panicked, so I just pulled out my chain gun shield and just kind of mowed him down like the little bitch that he is. And there you go, easy peasy. And we move on to our complex, which is probably my second, I, I, don't, I, I like a lot of the later levels, as, as you can tell. But it really just throws you in here, you got a bunch of little baby demons, a uh, prowler, and then a mancubus, and you just gonna make him your little bitch, uh, give him a little kiss on the mouth, shoot your guns at him, pull out your uh, combat shotgun for some reason, uh, prob uh, it's probably because I fat fingered and uh, I'm not good at clicking buttons correctly. But after you kill the Mancubus and all the little baby boys, there's gonna be a whiplash that's gonna appear behind the door of hell. So kill him quick because, uh, you know, it's a whiplash. And then there's gonna be a Hell Knight, just lock on burst him down. And that that's pretty simple. And I think there's gonna be a Pinky. 
A little pinky boy is gonna shove his little pinky up your little bing bong. And shoot the little pinky in the asshole. I'm gonna shove my pinky in that pinky's pinky. Oh god, that that was not. I did not like that one. Anyway, there's gonna be a revenant. Then the uh, the most epic song of the game is gonna start happening. I normally toss a grenade right here because there's gonna be like six or seven fodder demon, which uh, a lot of times uh, made it annoying. Pretty certain I died at this area before because of that. And then there's gonna be a mancubus that's gonna pop over. Just do your regular stuff. And this next area can be really quick and easy because there's gonna be two whiplashes behind the door of hell. Just lock onto them, kill them both. And then that entire area is completely done. Easy peasy. And then you're gonna drop down to this little area, which can be annoying. I just normally spam grenades in my rocket launcher and until all of them die because there's gonna be a carcass there that's gonna be annoying. And then after you kill this Revenant, it's gonna open you up to an arena area. Get rid of the Mancubus quick, just so you don't have to worry about them. And obviously try to avoid the purple cum because if you touch the purple cum, you won't be able to move and that's not fun. But I normally always go up there and just get rid of the Revenant really quick and uh, just always go around to the back because there's just plenty of armor and plenty of health. And then after you kill off all the rest of the little demons, there's gonna be another Mancubus that spawns with a carcass and, uh, you know, just keep your distance from them, and you'll be fine. And we can't forget about the cock and ball torture that's gonna appear right there. And, oh yeah, fuck you, carcass. I hate you. I hate you and your family. Uh, you suck. Die. Alright, next we're going to the stairs of hell. There's gonna be an arachnatron that's gonna appear and a revenant. Uh, you know, just, uh, shoot him. Uh, shoot him with your guns. You, you can lock on. You can uh, just shoot him with other guns. Just, uh, yeah, get rid of him. I don't know. I don't fucking know. I don't know what I'm doing. I'm just shooting things. That's pretty much what the game is. Do I really need to explain it? And don't be like me and actually realize that you don't have a, uh, a blood punch and don't go up to the freaking cyber mancubus like an idiot and almost die. And oh yeah, now I'm out of ammo, panicking a little bit, but we're fine. We're totally fine. I'm just lucky that that last rocket actually got him into a glory kill because, you know, I didn't have ammo. Next area is where the Slayer Gate's gonna be. Uh, all you really have to do is just get rid of the Arachnatron. I don't think there's any other annoying thing except maybe a Prowler, but uh, he kind of just runs around like an idiot and, and then eventually he'll appear before you and you can kill him. See, look at it. Look at how long he fucking took to actually appear before me. He's scared, he's a bitch. Moving on to one of the more fun Slayer Gates, or at least I consider it one of the more fun Slayer Gates, because you get to face tyrants, and honestly, I, I think tyrants are one of the more fun uh, enemies to deal with in Doom Eternal. That, that might sound stupid, but I actually enjoy fighting them. But it's gonna start off with two tyrants. Uh, just get rid of the first one right off the bat. Uh, I normally save my freeze nade and my other nades for the second one because there's also going to be whiplashes that are going to show up. Normally I try to freeze them both and kill the whiplash, but it just didn't work out in my favor. But if you get rid of the tyrants fast enough, I think all that's left is going to be a, a mancubus and a whiplash. See, right there, I could have easily just used my chainsaw to kill the Mancubus, but I was uh, slightly panicking because every single time something doesn't go exactly as planned, I just start panicking. And somehow that fucking Whiplash didn't die. I, I hate them so much. And there's also going to be a Baron, which I think Barons are fucking annoying as hell. But really all you need to do is just keep running from the Baron. Don't let him get close at all. Don't, don't even let him get slightly close to you. See, like me, I'm kind of dancing around him and getting really close and this uh, almost spelled death for me a couple times. But as long as you just keep as far away from him as possible and just keep running around and use the fodder demons for extra health and ammo, then you should be able to handle him pretty easily. 
And then after all that, you're gonna be dealing with a Doom Hunter, which at this point, a Doom Hunter is basically a laughable little man child. I normally just use the ballista and the hand cannon to spam at his uh, sled. You could obviously use the plasma rifle if you want, but I just like getting rid of a sled that way because it's just faster and less annoying. You could also use the chain gun as well, but I feel like you lose uh, some movement with the chain gun. Also, a very good way to get rid of a sled fast is if you freeze bomb him and then pull out your chain gun and just go to town on his sled. If you use your chain gun, normally you could pop him off the sled fast enough before he even gets out of the freeze. And then whenever he's off his sled, normally just a couple lock-on bursts will get rid of him. And that's pretty much it. Easy peasy. And you can kind of tell where I'm at with the Predator tokens. I kind of filled out fundamentals and uh, the, the grenades. I'm almost filled out on both. This next area is pretty fun. You're going to start out with a little baby boy mancubus and a little, some little boy, some, some sexy little zombies. And there's going to be another Mancubus when you walk up here and just get rid of him pretty quick. There's going to be a lot of fodder demons here. You could obviously use the precision bolt to just pop their heads and, and kill multiple at the same time or a rocket launcher or what have you. And I think after you kill the carcass and the prowler, there's going to be a Dread Knight and an Arachnotron. Uh, honestly, the fodder demons are, are has just been fucking annoying in this part. It really has thrown me off to the point that I almost die and I'm, I'm panicking again. I miss my rocket launcher shot, but luckily I get the glory kill on the Dread Knight. Spam nades. I normally just spam them when I'm when I'm at a loss of what to do. And prowlers again are just fucking annoying because they just uh, disappear and reappear. Actually, I think this part here took forever for the door to even open because a prowler was just running around for an hour and I couldn't find him. Now for the secret encounter, normally I just Arbalist the Cockademon, go over, kill the Arachnotron, and just uh, go to town on the pain, pain, pain. I am in utter pain right now. And out comes probably the most difficult part of this entire level, I would say. And the only reason it's the most difficult part for me is because I'm an idiot. And the entire time, every time I played this level, I never realized that there was a power-up in the lower area. Go get the power-up. Don't be stupid like me. But the reason this area is so frustrating is the combination of whiplashes, pinkies, and just a ridiculous amount of fodder. Deep. It is just so easy to get overwhelmed in this area. The only tip I can really give in this part is just kill as fast as you can. I would recommend getting the power up after the first phase because it's gonna be some cyber make you buy and some whiplashes and it would just make your job a lot easier. But to each their own, if you wanna get the power up right away, just to get rid of the make you buy and the, and the arachnotrons and pinkies, you feel free, it, it's your choice. This part here, you can see I almost got overwhelmed because there's like 10 fodder demon plus a pinky almost shoving me into that corner, but I was able to jump over them and flame belch them and throw a nade. And I'm not gonna lie, this part is pretty messy. I honestly could have done way better. And the fact that that power up is literally just taunting me down there because I am just tunnel visioning on all of these demons, I literally don't even see it out of the corner of my eye because I'm too focused on not dying. I literally pass it at least five times and it's just mocking me, laughing at me. A lot of people are probably gonna say, hey pig, didn't you literally say in the beginning of the video that you wrote down every single arena? Okay, maybe I exaggerated a little bit. I'm a little bit more confident in the later levels, so a lot of times I kind of just didn't write stuff down. And here's a great example of me not writing down the fact that there's a power-up in this level. Just shut up, I'm not perfect, okay? I make mistakes. But anyway, back to the level. Yeah, uh, Cybermancubuses, uh, Whiplashes. If you use the Berserk power-up, it wouldn't matter. They'd all be dead. So whatever, this part doesn't even matter. Honestly, how I look at it at the end of the day is I'm just so freaking good at this game. I didn't even need the power up. So yeah, eat that, bitch.
And then the portion right after that is also quite difficult. Again, it has nothing to do with the elite demons and all to do with the fodder demons because some of the shield boys come out and you know, how I complain about them all the time where they can kill you in one shot. Yeah, get rid of the fodder demons quick. Just toss some nades down there and, and you won't have to worry about them because they're a pain in the ass. In this next arena, you start off with a Mancubus and a Revenant, and obviously Fodder Demon once again. And then after that, the music picks up. You get a Hell Knight, and I think you get some Whiplashes, uh, some Arachnatrons here and there. Honestly, I'll tell you one thing that's very entertaining about re-watching my gameplay is just seeing how much I mess up. If you really want to go the extra mile of getting better at playing this game, play the game, record it, and then watch it back because you truly see how awful you can be and how bad your decision making can be. Because when you're in the moment, when you're shooting them demons, stomping them heads, you do not have much time to make decisions. So a lot of times you mess up and I mess up a lot. Like for example, look at the fact that there's another power up and for some reason, I just do not grab it throughout the entire fight. Like just grab it. It's right there. Come on, baby. Just go up there, touch it, put it in your ass, whatever it takes. Go get it. Oh, what's that? I don't grab the power up. Oh, what's that? I'm skipping the power up and just walking around uh, and, and trying to kill everybody without the power up. Am I finally gonna grab it? Oh, look, it's right there. It's it's taunting me. Oh, I'm finally gonna grab it. Good job, myself. Oh, thank you. You know, there's only like three demons left and I already wiped out everybody, but I think now's a good time to grab it and use it. Oh, and on top of that, I almost kill myself. Man, this is, this is, this run right here is fantastic. I'm doing awesome right now. I used the power up at the wrong time. I rocket launched someone point blank range and almost killed myself. Yeah, after this fight is over, there's gonna be a cyber mancubus that's gonna pop out of the ground when you get to the next area. Just be ready for it. I didn't show it here just because, you know, cyber mancubus, all you gotta do is blood punch him and shoot him a couple times and he'll be dead. Oh yeah, and this part right here, uh, I almost died because I didn't realize that when you're in the elevator, you can't use your mods. You can't use your precision bolt. So I was out there literally just spamming, trying to headshot these guys and it wouldn't go off and I couldn't figure out why. So I literally had to make the elevator go back down and back up. And then I finally figured out that you're actually supposed to be out of the elevator before you can do that. You see me standing there in utter astonishment, just realizing that, wow, I'm a complete idiot and a failure at life. But once you press the big green button, you're gonna go back and open the door and go down to the secret encounter. And this part's easy if you know what you're doing. Just freeze all the prowlers, kill all of them, and then the Mancubus is gonna drop down and then finish him off. Easy peasy. And then this part, you're just gonna get in a little hallway with uh, two of these Hell Knights. Just throw nades at them. Uh, you could throw your freeze nade. I normally just use the shield chain gun or you could literally use full auto shotgun. Honestly, at this point, it doesn't really matter. They die pretty quick. But a Dread Knight's gonna spawn in the next room and he's gonna do a, like a little animation before he attacks you. So just spam him before he even starts moving and then you can finish him off before he even attacks. And this next area is, is pretty easy as long as you just, you know, once again, go around in circles, use the map. There's gonna be a Mancubus and Arachnatron that's gonna pop out right away. I just kill them quick. And then you're gonna have to worry about some pinkies and of course, again, whiplashes, which fuck them. Just use your lock on burst to get rid of them fast or they're going to ruin your life.
And once you drop down, there's gonna be another Mancubus that's gonna pop out and jump scare you, boo. And then the stupid carcass is gonna throw his smoke rings of death at you. And again, some more whiplashes. Always just use your lock-on burst, or I mean, you obviously can use other weapons, but lock-on burst is just the most consistent and finishing them off really quick. And obviously, you could use the little fire guy of hell right there that would have easily just killed, you know, at least a Mancubus, but I, I don't use my... The problem with me is I'm stupid and I don't use my environment to my advantage but you should. Then moving to the last portion, it's just a purple cum on the ground that you have to avoid. I normally just try to kill the Revenant and the Mancubus before even going in there, because then you don't really have to worry about anything. And now it's time for everyone's favorite uh, boss fight is the Marauder. And by now, there are a billion fucking ways uh, to kill this guy. Right here, I fuck up on my... Uh, one cycle of him. If you cycle between your super shotgun and your ballista, and then on the fourth shot, you shoot your ballista on the ground, it'll stun him again. So you can technically one cycle him, but I, I kind of fucked it up. But I never die to a Marauder. I've never died to a Marauder, especially in a 1v1. That would be embarrassing, especially on Ultra Nightmare, me dying to a Marauder. <laughs> Are you kidding? That's what I died. That's what I died. That's what I died to. Oh my god. Oh my god. It was one time. It was one time. Okay. I was trying a new method. I was trying a new one cycle. It didn't work out. Just shut up. It was one time. Okay. Then we have Mars Core. I'm just going to skip to where you face the Baron because you literally can just run past everyone if you want to. But it's just a bunch of uh, fodder demons before you get into the Baron room. But honestly, just spam your nades at him. You use your chain gun. I normally use my chain gun just because of the shield. And you can get rid of him insanely fast. And then you have your first arena. There's an Arachnatron, a Cockademon, a bunch of carcasses, and there's gonna be a Cyber Mancubus in the back. Uh, just go around and get rid of him fast. And again, this area just has a lot of fodder that to get rid of. So, you know, just use your rocket launchers, your precision bolts to pop some heads, some nades, and just get rid of them all. Because a lot of times the reason people lose these runs is because of fodder demons, at least for me, because I just kind of ignore them a lot of times because I'm like, oh, they're just fodder. What are they gonna do, you know? I probably didn't mention this before, but get your super shotgun mastered at least by I think art complex is when it should be mastered because throughout Super Gore Nest you should be meat hooking like crazy. But get that meat hook mastery because that armor that you get from it is absolutely insane and you should be using it constantly. And then we get to the next arena that's gonna start out with a pain elemental and a dread knight. Get rid of the pain elemental fast because he's gonna be the most annoying. And after you kill those two, there's going to be a Doom Hunter that's going to appear and just, you know, rinse and repeat. And, you know, rinse and repeat. I use the hand cannon and ballista to shoot at a sled. You can use chain gun. You can use your plasma rifle to get rid of it either way. And then just finish them off with a quick lock on burst from your rocket launcher. And then boom, that entire part's over. Easy as pie. Warning. And then comes the next arena. First thing you're gonna do is get rid of the buff totem that's probably blocked by a fat, stupid, dumb, stupid freaking carcass. I hate, I hate you, I hate you, you're dumb, you're dumb, you're stupid, you're stupid. And I think the only reason I dislike this area is there's just so many shields. There's so many carcasses and then the, the shield soldiers and I just hate them. I, I hate shields so much. Yes, they are technically easy to deal with, but I hate how a carcass shield can completely destroy your momentum. And one of those baby soldiers, if you get too close to them without noticing, they could basically one-shot you. But it's gonna start off the fun with a bunch of carcasses, a uh, Dread Knight, some Cockademons. And again, I keep killing Cockademons with the Arbalist because that, you know, pushes you towards your mastery, which is what you should be doing throughout this entire time, is making sure your weapons are upgraded correctly and always be going toward a mastery. I think the next map is actually where you get your first mastery token. But still, try to get your mastery early on because it's always great to have them. But after you kill off all the Cockademons and the Dread 
Dread Knights and such are gonna be introduced to some Whiplashes, some Mancubi, and y you know how to deal with them. And I don't mind dealing with Whiplashes as long as there's multiple levels of the area, because if you're just on one flat area, Whiplashes can destroy you, but at least with this, you know, you could be moving up and down, stay off of the level that the Whiplash is on, just so you don't have to worry about them doing their ground flame shit. And then we had this secret encounter, which actually, I'll be honest, I've never done before. This is the first time on any Ultra Nightmare run I've done this secret encounter. I don't even think I've done this on the game in general. So it was kind of risky for me to do this, but you know, I, I felt confident. I was feeling frothy on this run, you know what I'm saying? And then this next part here, you're gonna run into a double Baron and just right off the bat, BFG, uh, both of them, because uh, you're gonna get a free BFG ammo in this arena. So after you BFG them, just rush them down. Uh, they normally gather together, so I normally just freeze them. But normally they die in that situation. I didn't shoot the BFG at the right angle to where they take more damage, so they didn't die as fast as I was hoping to, but I managed to escape. And then there's also that Arachnatron over there, which also should have died. But the, again, I fucked up my BFG shot. I, sh shut up. I know, right here you're gonna have a pain elemental, it's gonna drop down, you're gonna miss your first arbalist shot, and then eventually kill him after you miss the first arbalist shot. Even though he was standing still, uh, I'm not gonna talk about it, no. There's gonna be, a, and then there's gonna be another little area where a Baron's gonna spawn, he's just gonna hop his little cutie patootie up there. And then he's gonna freeze himself in mid-air, uh, leaving you to have some extra shots and then, then you kill. Don't be like me and get that close. Uh, I, I, I was playing quite stupid because I thought he would have been dead, but he, 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 I forget how much of a bullet sponge the Baron can be. Now this next part's pretty simple. There's just some uh, little fodder demon that are gonna appear and then, uh, you know. Oh my God, oh Jesus Christ. Panic, run, oh God, I forgot, I completely, I forgot. I forgot about him. Oh Jesus. That was easy, I wasn't even worried. And now it's time for this Slayer Gate, which I kind of have a love-hate relationship for because it does introduce the head popping, show stopping, dick flopping boys that, you know, you shoot their heads and they give you a billion ammo and a billion health, which I love. They're honestly the most satisfying character to kill because that nice little pop an explosion of color. But at the same time, it also has a combination of prowlers, which are basically gnats in combination with the marauder, which is really annoying. But normally what I do is completely ignore the marauder until you kill all of the prowlers. Sure, you can try to get a shot on him here and there once you get the opportunity, but it's completely pointless unless all of the prowlers are dead. Because holy shit, if you stand still for a second with all these prowlers, you're just gonna die. Be and always be popping heads on those con boys because you'll be getting a buttload of uh, healing. And again, right there, I fucked up my one cycle, so I panicked once again. I did not really practice my one cycles on this Marauder, so I was kind of just uh, shooting the shit and hoping it lands. When you're in a tough situation like this, a uh, button pressing becomes the most difficult thing in the world. For some reason, I I'm not starting with the correct weapon to do my one cycle, so I just look like a complete idiot. But do not feel bad for running around like a chicken with his head cut off when it comes to this fight because uh, yeah, you just need to find your openings and I finally found that opening and killed him. Next is gonna be three Hell Knights that spawn and you can meat hook your way over to the next Hell Knight uh, if you know where he's located and kill him quick. Mm, very good. And then everyone's favorite, two fucking Barons. Right here, I accidentally had the wrong mod on my plasma rifle because I just picked up a mod and forgot to switch, so it left me in an annoying situation. But again, just keep your distance. They close the gap insanely fast. Use your shield chain gun because, you know, if they do jump on you, at least you won't take that damage using your chain gun. Or, you know, if you're smart, you could just use your BFG. I could have easily just used my BFG there to get to get rid of every to get rid of every one. I guess I like making things difficult.
And just like my sex life, it's over in five seconds. And then comes one of my favorite arenas just by the look alone. I, I honestly could care less about the fight, but the look of the arena is so cool. I normally just BFG right off the bat because there's gonna be a lot of, lot of big boys. And then he could get rid of this Baron really quick. But after that first wave is annihilated, there's gonna be a Dread Knight, uh, some Hell Knights, and then an Arachnatron and some Prowlers, you know, Prowlers, the little gnats of the Doom world. Honestly, right here, I'm just doing a very poor job at dealing with this Dread Knight. But when in doubt, like I always say, pull out the shield chain gun because you know that aoe attack that he has won't be doing shit on you if you have a shield and then after that there's just going to be that lone doom hunter which just keep your distance dodge the lock on attacks and just use your hand cannon and ballista to just shoot at a sled or chain gun whatever you feel necessary Next, we have Sentinel Prime, which is literally just a boss fight. And this boss fight's quite easy. Uh, the, the first part's literally just a marauder that doesn't really chase you down. But they shorten the window of time that you're actually able to stun him, where the marauder has a little bit bigger of a window. The boss fight here has a little bit shorter of a window, which can be a little bit difficult. But once you land the timing of stunning the boss, then the first phase is really easy and simple. And you could even see me messing up the timing with this one, which my excuse is I was a little bit overconfident. I've never had trouble with this boss. So I kind of just went in there like, yeah, whatever. This boss is easy peasy. And it ended up being a mess, but you know, I made it out alive just fine. And pretty much every single time he spawns enemies, just use that as a chance to flame belch and grenade them just to get a buttload of armor and health whenever you need it. Second phase, now the second phase is arguable easier that's just because you can kind of spam him there is one ability he has where he swings around his thing and has a little shield that uh, shoots back every shot that you shoot at him but pretty much all you have to do is run around dodge his uh, swinging shots at you and just spam at him and I actually figured this out recently I didn't know this whenever he's doing the spinning shield thing if he lands a hit on you before he goes into the shield spin he will actually go toward you and do a melee shot at you. And normally what I do is use my meat hook to go around that and, and so he misses his shot. But if he doesn't land a hit on you before he goes into the spinny thing, then he doesn't go forward and he kind of just stays back. So it kind of rewards you for being able to dodge his attack. And then there's one jump rope portion, which personally I find it easier to just stay on the ground and just, uh, you know, move to where I need to move. And then at the end of the jump rope section, he has another opening that you could utilize to do more damage to him. But all around, pretty simple and easy boss fight. And then comes Taras Nabod, probably one of my least favorite later game maps, just mainly because of swimming and, and it's basically a water level. That, that's what I'll call it. You swim a lot and it's annoying. But after you kill the Cyber Mancubus and the Hell Knight, you're gonna punch these little two things, get rid of this Cockademon that's gonna appear where I'm pointing right now with the Arbalist. And then all you have to deal with is this uh, Marauder, which uh, is being very annoying because he's not leaving me an opening. Okay, finally, I don't know why I shot at the ground there because that was the wrong combo. I don't know why I was having so much trouble landing my fucking combos on this guy. I literally almost died to him. I am seven health. I don't know how I survived that. It's just a really awkward situation for me. It's weird because I never have trouble with Marauders, but man, when it comes to Ultra Nightmare, they stress me the fuck out. Now comes the first arena. This could be the easiest arena of your life or the hardest arena of your life. First thing you're gonna do is miss your shots on the Hell Knight so you take damage uh, and a lot of damage because you just miss every bullet. Ignore him even though you should kill him. Run over to this stupid Arc Vial and just get rid of him. Because if you get rid of the Arc Vial, then you don't have to worry about even playing in this arena. Also in that arena, make sure you get the mastery token because there is a mastery token here. And then we get our first secret encounter, which uh, this part is quite embarrassing for me because I actually completely fuck it up. But it's not tech, 
strictly my fault. It's actually this Doom Hunter's fault. Because for some reason I start attacking the Doom Hunter first instead of the Pain Elemental. And I also forgot that I just got the other mod for the Rocket Launcher and it always auto switches to the new mod so I didn't have my lock on burst. So I was just sitting there like an idiot for like five seconds. So I end up killing the Pain Elemental and all I have to do is kill this Doom Hunter and oh no, time ran out because I'm an idiot. All right, attempt number two. There's no way I'm gonna fuck it up this time, right? You know, just get rid of the Cockademon right away. Get rid of this pain elemental. Uh, I keep forgetting that I don't have much ammo. Now all that's left is this fucking Doom Hunter. But the problem is I don't have much ammo. My ballista shot hit the fucking pillar. I pull out my chain gun, spam nades. He won't get off his sled. This is starting to annoy me. Oh, finally. Oh, finally, he's off his sled. Lock on. Oh, that's right. I forgot to switch my mod because I'm an idiot. Hurry up. Lock on. Oh, yeah. Hide behind the pillar and all of my rockets miss. Oh, dear God. And I lose because of the fodder demons. Dear God. See, now most people would be like, you know what? Fuck it. This does this, this nothing to do. I'm not 100%ing this ultra nightmare run. Just screw it. Move on. But not me. Not me. Just this once. I'm gonna go all out. Next arena, use your BFG, but don't use it as early as me. Wait for more people to spawn because I fucked it up and uh, and I didn't kill the Cyber Mancubus behind me, but whatever, I, I end up killing him anyway. I normally always use a BFG shot when there's going to be BFG ammo in that arena, just because, you know, if the game's giving it to me, I'm gonna use it. But after you kill the Cyber Mancubus, there's gonna be a Demon, and then there's gonna be a Doom Hunter that you're gonna have to worry about. And just rinse and repeat what you always do on the Doom Hunter. Uh, I, I'm just going for Chain Gun at this point because I keep losing ammo on my Ballista and it, it's turning out really bad. And now it's time for another Slayer Gate. The beginning of the Slayer Gate that's gonna throw an arc file at you, just get rid of him as fast as you can. Uh, I honestly forgot that I normally just BFG the arc file and I use it anyway, but whatever. Then there's gonna be a pain elemental that you have to deal with. And then after that, just a billion fucking prowlers, like just hundreds of prowlers, just dancing around, screeching, and being fucking annoying. But all you have to do is just, you know, walk around whenever you see them, shoot them. It, they're not too annoying to deal with. And after that, you have to deal with whiplashes. How many whiplashes, you ask? Oh, five of them. Yes, five whiplashes. I hate this Slayer Gate so much. It's not necessarily hard, but boy, is it annoying. And then after that, we get a Tyrant and some sexy Mancubi. Honestly, you could save your BFG for this last portion, which I feel like in hindsight would work better than using it for the arc file because you kind of could just get rid of it with your other weapons. But I normally just get rid of the Mancubus first, wait for my freeze nade to open, and just lay to waste this fucking tyrant. Make him my bitch. Oh my god, I'm gonna die. Oh god. Oh god, someone give me help. I feel like my main issue in late game is just running out of ammo. I'm not gonna lie. I, I'm pretty poor with uh, ammo management and need to use my grenades a lot more for fodder demons. But there you have it. That's the Slayer game. And then comes this arena, which I hate. Rush over and get rid of that Hell Knight and that carcass right away. 
pick up that BFG ammo and get rid of the whiplashes and prowlers that are gonna appear because that's that's your next annoyance. But after that, you're gonna have to deal with the Baron and the only reason he's annoying in this arena is this arena is very, very small. And if you fall off a ledge, it's very awkward to get back up. So make sure you do not fall down into the lower area because you could get stuck pretty easily. Oh look, I got stuck down in the smaller area. The next thing that's gonna spawn is an arc vial. I honestly don't know if other demons ever spawn because I normally always BFG this part because it gets rid of whatever the hell else is gonna be there besides the arc vial and does a shitload of damage to the arc vial. So then you just kill him and then boom, bam, that arena's over. Now this next part is probably the closest to death I've ever been because I forgot that there was a secret item there and if you pick up secret items, you're not invulnerable. You take damage. And so and so I ended up getting pushed back into this room which really fucked me up and made me lose a buttload of health. Even though I was insanely close to killing him, I ran out of shotgun ammo and ballista ammo, so I kind of just ran around and got health, waited till he disappeared, and then I literally just said, fuck it. Yes, I literally said, fuck it. I'm not doing that again. I'm not even gonna try. It's not worth my time. That is the one time I gave up on a secret account. The first part of this next area is pretty easy. It's just a Dread Knight, a Cyber Mancubus, a Whiplash, and a Prowler. So I normally go up to the top and then get rid of the Dread Knight before he becomes a problem. So I normally go up to the top, kill the Dread Knight before he's a problem. I kill the Prowler and then go down and kill the Cyber Mancubus. The first part's pretty easy, but the next part you have to deal with a Marauder and a Kaka Demon. And a good way to do a buttload of damage to a Marauder is use your Arbalist. And if you have the chance to stand still and charge it up, you could do a buttload of damage to him really early. I only got to do it once here, but it ended up helping. But it did end up helping me out a lot. I know there's probably so many people saying, Oh, big, I can beat the Marauder in like five seconds or two seconds. You're trash. Yes, I am trash. Shut up. This next part here is pretty easy. Jump over here, freeze the pinky, kill him, almost get one shot by the pain elemental, miss your Arbalist shot, hook around the pain elemental, barely staying alive, and then trying to get a better angle on him, finally killing him. And normally my goal in this is get rid of the pinkies, but uh, yeah, I probably should start getting rid of the pain elemental first, because you know, uh, that might happen. And I did accidentally try to chainsaw a prowler here, which uh, again, made it more awkward, but you know, we're good. We're good, it was all part of the plan. Uh, I didn't die. We're fine. What's that? You didn't like the pain elemental plus the pinky combo? Oh, well, you're gonna love this next part. You're gonna have a pain elemental, a caca demon, and two invisible pinkies appear before you. Just get rid of the pain elemental fast. And then there's gonna be another caca demon that's gonna spawn and, and you know, some fucking prowlers, which no one likes. And the first time you go into this little room, you're gonna have some whiplashes and, uh, and the first time you go into this little room, you're gonna have some whiplashes and some pinkies. And the second time you get into a similar little room, you're gonna have a Dread Knight and a Cyber Mancubus, which I just shield chain gun him and then uh, did the, the blood punch on that big boy. And uh, yeah, it's pretty easy, pretty simple, pretty quick and easy. And I don't really need to show the last part. The last part is literally just you get your crucible and then you just chop up a bunch of demons. You know, it's just basically a display of what the crucible can do. If you die at that part, I'm sorry. I'm genuinely sorry. And now it's time for Necroval, where the blood swamps and in the, in the hell. And, and I honestly don't know why they didn't call it Habeth, because that's what Samuel Hayden says in the beginning. And it's called Necroval, and then there's Necroval Part 2, but, you know, to each their own. You're gonna have an Arachnotron, a couple Cyber Mancubi. I think I go and try to Blood Punch this Cyber Mancubus, because I just finished a Master level. And I was expecting to have my Blood Punches ready at the beginning of the level. But yeah, I, I didn't, so I looked kind of stupid. 
And then the next part, I think this is technically like the introduction to the tyrant. You can grab that uh, a damage boost up there, but I actually tried to save it for after the tyrant. I killed the tyrant and I ended up trying to meet hook off of the cock and demon to get the power up, but I miss it anyway. And then I just end up saying, fuck it, let's just go. I don't really care. I think I, I should be fine here. Cause I think all that's left is a cyber mancubus, a whiplash and a prowler, which are pretty easy to handle in this area. And then we open the doors to see every single person that subscribed to me because I have to hold them hostage in order for them to stay subscribed to me. We drop down and then get a little Baron in a room and just freeze them and just use everything in your arsenal to just poop on him and embarrass him in front of his entire family family. And then we go to the environmental damage arena where we're introduced to the little eyeballs that shoot little Symmetra orbs at your asshole and just precision bolt ballista those little eyeballs until they pop. I think there's going to be a couple pain elementals you'll have to deal with in this area. It could be difficult, but I honestly try to stay in this corner because it is the one area that doesn't uh, get lava on it. I think the lava level does rise if you don't kill them fast enough, but I normally just pull out my shield chain gun and just go to town on the pain elementals because the, you know the, they can't really do much when they can't hit you and then comes this little arena what i was trying to do here was uh, hold my arbalist shot for a dread knight that's supposed to walk around the corner but he never did it took forever and so i just ended up killing all these fodder first and then i always jump up here because i personally hate going down in that area because it, it's so claustrophobic and messed up but whenever the cyber make you buy spawn i normally just pop a bfg shot because they give you bfg ammo here and then there's going to be an archivile that's going to spawn I actually pause the game here because my wife was asking for help for something i honestly forget what it was but it was a very stressful situation to pause the game in. But like an absolute Chad that I am, I came back and absolutely embarrassed that arc vial like the little bitch that he is. Uh, it was very annoying because every time I tried to lock onto him, he kept teleporting. But eventually I finish him off and I don't even break a sweat. And then comes the make or break arena, I call it. Because if I mess up, my meat hook jump then it's basically game over because trying to go around and parkour up the platforms in order to get to the buff totem it never works when you're doing ultra nightmare you're always gonna die unless you're just very lucky normally go over to this corner and so I normally go over to this corner, latch onto the Cyber Mancubus and do a meat hook jump, which gets me up to the platform that I can destroy the buff totem. And then, you know, the rest is history. Uh, they all are pretty simple after you kill that. And then comes the room that used to give me so much trouble. Honestly, I didn't even die on my Ultra Nightmare runs in this at all, which honestly I'm surprised by. But always get rid of the Whiplash right away. And in this instance, for some reason, the Whiplash did not die right away, which uh, left me in an awkward spot, but I was able to get an Arbalist shot onto the Marauder. So all it took was one more cycle and he died. And now is your first large arena. After I do my fat BFG shot, because once again, they give you BFG ammo. I normally shoot it at the beginning. Some people save it for whenever the two Doom Hunters come out, but I don't ever really have too much trouble with Doom Hunters. So I, I didn't really mind shooting it off at the beginning. Actually, I've seen some people do two BFG shots in this arena because of Doom Hunters, but uh, it, you know, to each their own. The Doom Hunters, like I mentioned, and a Dread Knight, I normally just stay back in this area and let uh, them funnel to me because the doom hunters are normally a lot slower so the dread knight chases me down first and i get rid of him and then i just hang out over here most of the time because the doom hunters never really make their way over here and if they do it's normally just one of them as you can see the other one is in the back for some reason i i honestly don't understand why he's way back there but i'm not complaining because it helped me out immensely but after the first one the next one's pretty easy i get a little bit more ammo i chain gun off his sled and then i lock on burst him until he dies honestly not too difficult of an arena if you uh follow my method the pig method the smart method and now it's time for necroval part two yeah i don't know why they called it a part two they could have called the last one habeth because that's what he said, is a lost city of Habeth. 
anyway, the beginning you're just gonna start out with some fodder and then a pain elemental is gonna spawn, you know, pop his eyeball cherry out like a little bitch. You're gonna do some platforming and when you do the platforming, it's gonna be two or three cocky demons that are gonna jump up. This arbalist shot them to death or you could do a sticky bomb or whatever the hell you feel like. And comes the fun arena I, and I'm not lying. I actually kind of like this arena. I don't know why. Maybe it's just because I, I don't ever really die here and it's just throws a lot of fun demons at you. It's a whole around fun time. But you're gonna start out with a Mancubus and then it's gonna be a Revenant in the corner. You kill, and after you kill those two elite demons, there's gonna be a Baron that's gonna spawn. Which honestly, you could probably kill him before he even gets to you if you just shoot him a little bit, wait, wait for him to get close, freeze bomb him, and then chain gun him into hell, which he's already in hell. Where do people who live in hell go when they die? That's the question. Giga hell, that's where they go. Then there's gonna be a pain elemental that's gonna spawn. He's gonna throw a spooky, scary skeletons. And then after that, there's gonna be the Doom Hunter, which, you know, by now is kind of just a little bitch in my eyes and should be a bitch in all of your eyes. Oh, oh yeah, there's also gonna be some whiplashes. I honestly forgot about that part. Uh, yeah, you know what? I changed my mind. This arena sucks. I hate this arena. I almost die because of the stupid whip. I hate this, this oh, I changed my mind. Oh yeah, there's a power up over here. I honestly forgot, um, I, if I didn't walk over there, I wouldn't have seen it, but oh well, it, it worked out in the long run. After you kill those two whiplashes, then you can make the Doom Hunter look like a little bitch, you know, freeze nade him, spam a billion nades, use your chain gun, lock on burst him into hell, or once again, whatever purgatory type area that they exist after the, these demons die. And now it's time to slide down into the BFG arena, I like to call it, because that's pretty much all I do is just a BFG, most of everything that spawns here. The first part's gonna be pretty simple. It's just gonna Arachnatron, uh, it's gonna be a Dread Knight, a Revenant, uh, some carcasses spread out throughout this area. And then next is gonna be the Arc Violet, which I normally just BFG him into non-existence. And then after you kill him, the last but not least is gonna be the Marauder, which uh, they're pretty lenient with the Marauder fight here because it's just a Marauder and a Fodder Demon. Like, I honestly, later game, you, you would be expecting a little bit more than that, especially with an arena so big. But be patient here, don't try to rush. Just uh, make sure you always have a lot of health and just get rid of them lickety split. And then there's gonna be this kind of awkward area because there's gonna be invisible pinkies, Arachnatron, Cyber, Mankubai. Always use the boofs. There's plenty of boofs around this uh, area. Always try to use them. Oh dear God, oh Jesus, oh, oh, oh. Make sure you look before you boof. Make sure you look before you boof. And then we get to the eyeballs of hell section, and uh, I, I believe there's a Dread Knight somewhere in this area. Oh, there he is. Yep. Yep, there he is. And next area, again, is another just BFG area. Can be difficult, but uh, it really is probably the easiest late game arena there is. And that's mainly because of how much BFG ammo you should have at this point. Honestly, I do think this is a pretty fun area because there's not too much stress, uh, at least if you uh, use your BFGs uh, at the right time. I normally use it on the Tyrant in the beginning, kill what's left, wait for the Baron to spawn, and then I use another BFG and then kill off the Baron. But after that, all that's left is a Kaka Demon and a Doom Hunter, which once again, Doom Hunters are just little baby bitches. And that's literally it. Like that, that it should take maybe uh, 20 seconds top. And then the prettiest level in the game, Erdak. I mean, change my mind, but yes, this is probably one of the prettiest levels in the game. There's a lot of annoying parkour in this level. You know, the little boofs that launch you across the map. Even now, after playing this game, even now after playing this game multiple times, I still, mess up on the boost. But the first arena, you're introduced to the head popping, dick flopping, toe sucking, head boppers. That's what I'm calling them. Once again, my favorite fodder demon in the game. I'll honestly never get over how satisfying it is to pop their heads and watch a billion ammo and health come out. But starting out, it's gonna be Cyber Mancubus, Hell Knights, uh, you know, a bunch of little head boppers. It's really not too difficult on this one, especially if you keep popping their heads because the amount of health and ammo you get out of it it's just like how are you gonna die here there's no way you're gonna die just don't miss your shots that's all you gotta do i mean really at the end of the day their hitbox is big enough 
just don't miss your shots. Now, I'll admit, Erdak, I've never really written down anything about it, and that's just because I've never had trouble with it. It's honestly one of my favorite late game levels, and I think it's just because, again, I, I don't really have too much trouble with it, and the arenas are really fun, and the introduction to the head poppers. Then we're gonna get over to this next area, Arbalist, that pain elemental, do the same to the Cockademon, and just pop those heads on those little guys. Look at all that health. Look at it, just laying on the floor for me to guzzle. And there's gonna be a little secret encounter in this area. It's just gonna be, again, a bunch of head poppers and then a cyber mancubus, which again, I try to punch him when I don't have my blood punch. I don't know why I'm still doing this. It's so triggering watching this run sometimes, man. Just seeing how poorly I do. But next area, buff totem. Run over to the doors and uh, go get it. Get it fast, because then after that, it's it's really easy. You have uh, Arachnotrons, Prowlers. Uh, it's gonna be a Doom Hunter that's gonna spawn over there. I really don't need to say much about the Doom Hunter anymore. Uh, uh, just a bitch. He's just a bitch. I mean, I don't know what else to say. You know, I'm just gonna go over here, finish off my glory kill. Oh, wait, wait, whoa! Wait, why are you still alive? Wait, huh? Huh? Why, what? Okay, yeah, yeah, uh-huh, yeah. It's gonna be this little area. A Baron's just gonna chase you down. Just do your freeze bomb. I normally arbal a shot to start out, pull out chain gun, use the flame belch to get some extra armor, and then uh, he's dead. That was easy. And this is just your daily reminder from Samuel Hayden that the longer the Icon of Sin uh, stays on Earth, the powerful he will become. And then we go to the next arena. We start out with the Revenant. I start missing every single one of my shots on the head poppers. I end up using a chainsaw on a fodder demon out of habit, even though I don't need to because, oh, did I do it again? Did I do it again? Did I go up there and try to blood punch him when I didn't have a blood punch? Why don't I ever have a blood punch? Oh, Jesus. Oh yeah, there's a Marauder that's gonna appear. Uh, I don't, whatever, just wait for him to go green. Uh, you know, green means go, red means stop. I, I pretty, I, you know what, I just realized that's how they made the character. They went, off the, they went off the idea of green means go and red means stop. I just figured that out. And once again, your daily reminder that uh, the longer the Icon of Sin stays on Earth, the stronger he will become. And then this is a classic case of me thinking that this was a different arena. Uh, there's another arena that has a, a buff totem on the left side. And I don't know why I thought it was this one. Once again, didn't write it down and I look like an idiot, but we're fine. There's gonna be some dick floppers and then an arc file is gonna spawn. Just spam nades at them, pull out your chain gun and, uh, and make them disappear. I think after you kill the arc file, is gonna be Mancubus, a pain elemental, a dread knight. Make sure you pick up that BFG ammo. It's not necessary to use here if you kill the arc file fast. Moving on. Moving on to the most annoying arena on this level. It's gonna be Revenant, a Cyber Mancubus. I don't even try to blood punch him because this time I realize it's not a good idea. Don't know why I used my BFG shot there. It didn't make sense because pretty much everyone was already dead. But at least I have the Crucible shots that I'm going to be using on the two Barons that are gonna appear later. But anyway, Cockademon, Whiplash, uh, some basic demons. Oh, there's the Baron. Oh, cool. Oh, I didn't mean to go into that portal, but we're fine. Yeah, there's gonna be two barons that are gonna spawn. Use your BFG ammo here. That's the smart thing to do. But I end up using my Crucible, which I honestly uh, underutilize a lot. And then I'm gonna go over here and use my Crucible on uh, this uh, Baron. Oh, yeah! Oh, yeah! Oh, uh-huh! Yeah, miss both of yeah! Yeah, waste your Crucible ammo on two of the fodder demon. That's what I wanted to do. Oh yeah, I just love making things difficult for myself. That's fine. It is totally fine. Just finish off the Baron the all natural way. I'm not angry about that. I'm not angry about that. Now here's the arena where you use the momentum off of those little boofs and you go over here and you kill the buff totem and then everything else is uh, pretty easy. There's gonna, there's gonna be some Cyber Mancubuses, Hell Knights, uh, Revenants, Whiplashes, Arachnotrons. Oh, hello, everyone. Yes, please come over here. This is, it, it makes it easy for me. Oh, hello, Tyrant. I almost forgot about you. But after you kill that Tyrant, there's gonna be that Arachnotron. There's probably gonna be a Whiplash. 
uh, two cyber mancubi and mancubus. I would just BFG here. Uh, I, I didn't because that's just not normally what I do. And I didn't really plan that well for this arena. But remember to keep popping heads and just stay your distance. Just use like that little platform in the middle to jump back and forth to get rid of the cyber mancubus. I don't even try to go in for the blood punch, uh, mainly because I don't have one. Uh, it's not like I would go in if I didn't have it because that would be stupid. And I'm not stupid. I'm a very smart uh, gamer. I think things through. That's that arena though. And then we have this laughable boss fight. I'm pretty certain I beat this boss fight in under a minute. All you do is to switch back and forth between your heavy cannon and your ballista and you literally just destroy the con maker. Honestly, you could use your chain gun here, but it just doesn't do as much as the precision bolt uh, ballista combo. But just rinse and repeat. Make sure you go around and keep getting ammo from uh, the head poppers. And I think around the third or fourth phase, she's gonna start making the ground do damage to you. But if you kill her fast enough, it really doesn't matter uh, the damage, even if you're standing on top of it. I think there was actually one moment here where I got a little bit worried because I missed a couple shots on the head poppers and uh, when I needed some help because of the environmental damage. The only tip I could really give in this fight is just uh, keep shooting. Uh, don't stop. I consider this boss fight to just be a joke, uh, honestly, but to be fair, a doom boss fights are always kind of a joke. And now it's time, ladies and gentlemen, the final thick sin. Now, I'm not gonna lie, the difficulty spike between Erdak and the final sin are, are quite uh, huge, I would say. The game really just said fuck you on the last level and threw everything they possibly could at you at once. This is definitely a level you need to utilize your BFGs and your crucibles because uh, it'll save your ass. But the first arena isn't gonna be too difficult. But the first arena isn't gonna be too difficult because a lot of the demons are pretty spread out. Just keep moving, keep your momentum going in a specific direction at all time. And like fucking clockwork, I try to blood punch the cyber mancubus and I didn't have one. I, I honestly can't even count how many times I've done this throughout this Ultra Nightmare run. It's, it's honestly embarrassing, I'm not gonna lie. It's quite embarrassing. But after you knock out the first wave, there's gonna be a Baron and some Whiplashes that are going to be annoying. Uh, probably another Mancubus, a Revenant. I honestly didn't count how many demons were in this because there's just a lot. Like literally just so many fucking demons they throw at you in this arena. Just keep moving and you'll be fine. Like you have everything in your arsenal. Utilize everything. Make sure you're using your grenades. Keep getting your ammo because you don't have the head poppers anymore, which is depressing. I miss the head poppers. And overly use your meat hook on fodder demons to just get that extra armor. Keep using your flame belch. And uh, more, most importantly, don't fall off the map. I know that sounds stupid. Like who would fall off a map, especially one this large, am I right? I wouldn't, I never have, but it is something to be concerned about. Like right here, I, like my am, oh. Oh, I fell off the map. Uh, thank God there's armor here or I would have died. But anywho, but anywho, after I miraculously made it out alive and killed the pain elemental and the rest of the demons, after you kill most of the demons and I don't know what the hell that one fodder demon was doing, a swan dive or something. Yeah, but anyway, after you kill all those demons, there's gonna be a tyrant that's gonna walk through those doors and make sure you use your crucible like I do. Uh, you don't have to, but I always do because, uh, you know, he's a tyrant. So it makes it easy. And then there's gonna be a Doom Hunter that spawns, which, you know, do I even have to say anything about the Doom Hunter? Just kill him. And then let's go to the next difficult part. Uh, you go to a room that's gonna have some stairs. Wherever that Revenant pops out at, there's going to be a buff totem that you're gonna have to watch out for after you kill a specific amount of demons. Rush in, kill that buff totem, kill this pinky, and uh, the rest is pretty much history of this part. 
Also, go pick up that BFG ammo. There's some in that corner. Uh, do not forget to pick it up because BFG ammo is very important in this level. And next, we're gonna head to this part, which is going to have a Marauder. You're gonna kill a, a Cockademon, a Revenant, an Arachnatron, and then, you know, after you do all that, then there's going to be a Marauder that's going to appear. By now, you should at least have some semblance of how to deal with a Marauder. He isn't too difficult if, if you don't miss your shots like me because it's the last level of the game. I'm a little bit panicked, all right? You gotta understand. I missed my shots twice on the Marauder. It's fine. Just don't freak out. Keep going even if you fuck up twice. I don't understand how I'm doing this. Okay, we're good. I finally hit him. And keep using your meat hook to get away from the Marauder every time you get him into a stun. Uh, just, you know, and then yeah, you, you stomp on his head and kill him. Now this next part is quite embar- Now this next part's quite embarrassing. I normally tried to cheese the first tyrant and I didn't realize that there was a goddamn Mancubus shooting at me and then I'm left with 20 health. That's right, ladies and gentlemen, 20 health. So I decided, you know what? Fuck it. Let's go in, finish off the tyrant. I'm just gonna rush in and BFG everyone, and hopefully that'll just give me a buttload of health, which it does. Now listen to what I do here. Crucible, this tyrant. All right, now you're gonna go to the next tyrant, and then you're gonna, you know, you're gonna crucible him, chop his little legs off. Go up the boof, and then there's gonna be a buff totem that you're gonna rush down there. A revenant's obviously gonna jump up. Just ignore him, go over, kill the buff totem, and then all of the really difficult portions are pretty much over and just, uh, you know, kill the Baron. Uh, I believe there's going to be uh, multiple Barons, if I remember correctly, a lot of pinkies. It's just a clusterfuck of nonsense right now. But utilize that meat hook, get around the area, use that boof in the middle to give you some distance between some people and just spam. That, that's pretty much all I'm doing right now. I'm spamming. That, that's, that's, that's my go-to, that's my go-to. But after that arena, you're gonna walk up the stairs. You're gonna have to deal with two revenants and a hell knight. And this is a big issue right here because I literally lose all of my ammo and it's just me against a Baron with zero ammo. I'm not even joking. This is probably the worst possible situation I could have been in because you walk up the stairs, you're gonna finish off this Mancubus and the, you're gonna finish off this Mancubus and this Arachnatron. Uh, I do not have enough chainsaw charges in order to kill any of these elites. So look at this. Low ammo, out of ammo, low ammo, out of ammo. Oh, let me scroll through all of them. Oh, I'm out of ammo, out of ammo. I'm out of ammo of everything. So I'm not joking. I ran around for probably 10 to 15 minutes and just waited for my nades to recover and just killed him with nades. Yes, I actually did this on my ultra nightmare run. I don't know if you'd call this skill or just pure stupidity for not, uh, you know, getting ammo before this fight, but whatever, I made it. That's all that matters. The next arena, I actually fuck up the BFG shot a little bit. Uh, I shot it uh, toward a wall that kind of ruined the extra damage I would have gotten. And I would have killed off, I would have killed off more of the demons but I didn't, but make sure you keep using the multiple levels to your advantage. You know, if there's a, a pinky, do not be on the same level as him. And then what's next is obviously a Marauder. Uh, there's gonna be some elite demons as well. And then it's just a classic case of running around like a chicken with his head cut off and killing demons and just waiting for openings that you'd find with the Marauder to be able to actually do damage to him. I know some people are probably saying, use your BFG, which I actually could, I think here. I, I think I actually ended this with one extra BFG ammo. So I could have technically used it here just to make it easier to kill the Marauder. After that, you're gonna run into an arc file, just BFG him, and then, you know, the rest is history. In the last area before the final boss fight, it's just this little bridge. It's gonna be Arachnatron, Revenant. You're gonna go over here, and then there's going to be a Baron and a Dread Knight. I just spam my nades at them, and uh, yeah, and it's pretty easy to finish them off. Which, I'm not gonna lie, I feel like this boss fight is pretty easy, but at the same time, you could die 
very easily. What I would recommend is obviously use your BFG shots. Try to actually land your BFG shots on him. You know, if you don't do that, then it won't do as much damage. And I always use all of my ammo just on him. Uh, the only fodder demons that are going to be there are gonna be the ones that are gonna be on the ground. Wait for a time where the final sin isn't setting the ground on fire and go down and get some ammo. And I only crucible every demon that's gonna appear because there's gonna be a lot of demons, but there's so much crucible ammo and I think it replenishes itself. So just use blood punches and crucibles for the elite demons that are gonna appear and just use all of your ammo for the icon of sin. And if, if you just play this level with a lot of patience, then it will be pretty easy. If you try to rush it, then, you know, you're gonna find yourself in a bad spot and die. But just be very patient, keep crucibling the, the little, little annoying demons and then blow off his arms and his legs and his, his little belly button. But after he runs off and you see his little cute little, little cheeks, little cheeks running away, mm, those are some nice cheekies. And the next part is pretty much the same thing. I go grab the BFG ammo, use all of the ammo in the arena uh, to shoot it him and only use crucibles and blood punches uh, to kill the demons and then use all of my ammo to shoot at the final sin and there's only a couple things you need to look out for with the final sin he shoots like a a sigil out of his forehead that chases you down that could do a buttload of damage and also his laser of hell his laser is very annoying something i would do different here is turn on your to-do list I, I don't really know what you call it basically your tasks in the mission and it shows how many body parts you've destroyed because when you do it visually it's kind of hard to tell which body part you destroyed and how many you destroyed when you shoot at him it does turn red whenever it's taking damage and when when you shoot at something that is already destroyed then it doesn't turn red so that's a, a decent visual representation but it does help whenever you have like that little thing in the side that says how many you've done. And I'm not gonna lie, there was quite a few scares in this arena, but there is a lot of health and a lot of opportunity to get health. So don't panic, uh, I do a lot, but just try not to panic. And every time you get low, just know where the health packs are, know where to get health from, and just, uh, you know, be patient. Cause that's really all the final sin is, is a lot of patience.
And there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. That was my Ultra Nightmare run. Pretty messy, I'll admit, but I did it. And you guys can too if you follow my messy guide in order to, to beat Tomb Eternal. Now I'm actually doing now I'm actually planning on doing the 100 percent runs next. And I already beat all the master levels on Nightmare. Now I just have to beat them on Ultra Nightmare. I I probably am going to do the DLCs at some point. I know the DLCs aren't that great. I'll, I'll admit they're definitely not as good as the main campaign. I feel like the first DLC is a lot better than the second DLC, and the music kind of hits like a wet fart compared to Mick Gordon's music. But you know, I probably won't post me doing those. But that's just something that I'm personally going to try to do myself on the side. And, and if you guys made it through this entire two hour video, thank you. I appreciate that. I'm, I would, I'm genuinely surprised if you actually made it through this entire video. But if you did, please subscribe. Please like the video. Uh, I don't know if I'll do any content like this in the future. This might be a one-off. I just really love this game. I saw Elvis the Alien do it, and I felt like I owed myself to challenge myself to do something like this. It was very fun to do, which I haven't had this much fun with the video in a long time. And uh, it feels nice to do something that you, you like genuinely want to do you know what i mean but thank you all and i'll see you next time